Hello everyone and welcome to the first lecture of this course which is our SAVE Foundation course. So in this course we are going to cover the different types of foundations that we have and how we should design them. So before we do that this lecture is going to be an introductory, uh, an introductory lecture to this course and uh, the first thing we are going to do is we are going to go through a quick recap. So we said that for a structural engineer to design a building, he has to go through certain steps or a sequence of steps. The first one being the analysis and design of our solid slab system of our, or, or of our slab system. So basically, you are trying to find out the type of slab that you are going to use. This is going to be a solid slab, a flat slab, a hollow block slab, composite or a PT slab. So you're going to determine the type of slab that you are going to use and perform the analysis and design of your slab system. Now, after we finish from this step, we are going to move on into uh, our second step, which is we are going to go to ETABS and we are going to uh, perform the analysis and design of our vertical elements. So this is what we did in our last course. So. Uh, the first thing we did is we had an AutoCAD file for our building and um, we prepared our analytical plan, imported it uh, to uh, ETABS and then we prepared our model. After that, what we did was we checked for our serviceability conditions, which were our sway drift and then we performed our uh, or the design, the analysis and design of our vertical elements, which were our columns. We said they are there for our gravity loads and our uh, shear walls. We performed uh, the design for our flexural reinforcement and our shear reinforcement. And after that, after this step comes step three, which is my uh, the analysis and design or uh, of my foundation system. We are going to export the data from ETABS and uh, input them to save in order to design for our foundation system. So basically, we are going to export the base reactions from ETABS to save to, de to design for our foundation system. So when it comes to our foundation system, in this course, we are going to cover almost all the types of foundation systems that we can come across uh, in our professional career as a civil engineer. So there are different types of foundation systems that we uh, have, which are strip footing, isolated footing, stepped footing, combined footing, mat foundation, or we can also call it raft foundation. We have a deep foundation system with piles and pile cap. We can call it pile cap or a pile raft foundation. And of course, for our retaining walls, we have a foundation system. And for our uh, counter fort, we should have a foundation system as well. Now, when it comes to uh, our counter fort, what is a counter fort? It is basically a retaining wall that has lateral support. And we usually uh, use a counter fort because uh, in case we have a lateral uh, or a retaining wall with very high heights, uh, so what governs there is my lateral forces. So instead of increasing the thickness of my retaining wall, what I am going to do is that I am going to provide a support system, which will be my lateral support. OK, so now that I have covered the different types of foundation systems that we have here, uh, now we can categorize these foundation systems into two categories. The first one is shallow foundation here. OK, my first type of foundation is shallow foundation. And my second is deep foundation. Now, when it comes to my shallow foundation, uh, the shallow foundation systems that we have are our stripped footing, 
isolated footing stepped footing combined and my uh, mat foundation or raft foundation or raft foundation now when it comes to my deep foundation my deep foundation system is usually my pile cap or what we can call a pile raft foundation or we can also call it raft supported on piles so these are the two categories of foundation systems that we have are shallow and are deep and we said that uh, uh, our shallow foundation consists of stripped isolated step combined fittings and mat foundation which is also called uh, raft foundation and for a deep foundation it consists of pile cap or pile raft foundation or raft supported on pile piles you can call it whatever you want now after we are done uh, or after we have covered uh, the different types of foundation systems and the two categories that we have we have to ask ourselves one important question and it is under what criteria should I select my uh, type of foundation that I'm going to design for now we are going to answer this question in our next lecture so this was basically an introductory lecture just to go through a quick recap introduce you to the types of foundation systems that we have and in our next lecture we are going to talk about the criteria that we need to know in order to uh, choose or select the type of foundation that we need to use and we need to design for so i'll see you in our next video